and welcome to another segment of astrologyanswers.com's weekly horoscope. My name is Terence Scardino. Well, Mercury went direct on Sunday, May the 22nd. So where there was any kind of misunderstandings, so breakdown in communications, now we can start resolving any of those problems. However, Mercury, even though it's now moving, starting to move forwards, it's at a snail's pace. It will take a good week or so before Mercury is back to its regular speed. So our, our, our thinking, our planning um, may still be sluggish, or maybe we're just having to uh, clean up a lot of the problems and the misunderstandings before we can get fully on track. Now, on Tuesday, May the 24th, social pleasure-seeking romantic Venus leaves Taurus and moves into Gemini. Gemini is very social. It's, um, Gemini is whimsical. It's lighthearted. Um, it's so interested in so many ideas. So this is, you're going to find overall from Tuesday for the next several weeks um, that there's uh, more of a desire to want to reach out and connect, but it's a much more social time. On Tuesday, when the Venus moves right into zero degrees of Gemini, it's in direct opposition to passionate Mars at zero degrees of Sagittarius, except Mars is retrograde. So that Venus Mars can certainly trigger a lot of passion and romanticism and even trigger a lot of creative inspiration. But with Mars in retrograde, Mercury just starting to go forwards, um, this, the, yeah, you might be really wanting to attend a party, uh, meet new people, you know, uh, just get out there and start connecting. The energy is still not top form yet. And the downside might be that you could jump in too quickly and then just get disappointed. Um, and with Venus and Mars, you could there could be some disagreements and arguments that still need to be worked out. On Wednesday, here's the moon is going to be in responsible, stable Capricorn, but it's aligning with compulsive Pluto, squaring erratic Uranus. So Wednesday is continues to be kind of a, um, an unstable roller coaster ride of a day. But when we get to Thursday, now Thursday is just the peak of Jupiter exactly squaring or forming a 90 degree angle to Saturn. Jupiter is the principle of expansion. Saturn is the principle of contraction. Jupiter is optimistic. Saturn is very cautious. And um, when these two planets, not very often, um, about every three years or so, here's the Jupiter coming up against the Saturn. So where we want to expand the Saturn is saying, are you sure? Let's take it slow. So there might be a restlessness. You might be through this frustration because you're so ready to start expanding out of the limitations. And there's a lot of hopefulness as uh, through May where we're setting the stage um, for the rest of the year for some really good things. However, um, Mars is still retrograde until June the 29th. So a lot of these work endeavors, our driver and passion, it's still taking a little bit more effort. Now, what I mean by on Thursday is the peak. That's when Jupiter, by exact degree and exact minute, is forming this 90 degree angle. But we're feeling this through all of May, certainly the first couple of weeks before and the last couple of weeks after. Um, it's just that this week, 
and it certainly could be a time of you're so ready to go, Mercury's gone direct, there's all this passion, and yet you're still feeling like you're moving a bit through um, quicksand or you know, you're walking through mud. It's like it's still a bit sluggish. So you don't want to push too hard. Things are opening up, but it's still time to be patient. On Friday, Mars, that's been in Sagittarius, this fiery, adventurous sign since the beginning of March, then in the middle of April it went retrograde, but as of this Friday, now the Mars is retrograding back into Scorpio um, and retrograde till June the 29th. So you're going to see a different shift of energy. The, Sagitt the Mars and Sagittarius, it's like, let's really go for it. But I think the positive, always look to the positive of that Mars moving back into Scorpio is getting more, uh, uh, wanting to do more research, do more planning taking more time. And that might also be triggered by that Saturn trying to stabilize that all that expansiveness of Jupiter. So it, you could be working harder to be more prepared, um, you, know, um, you know, doing all your due diligence. But this is a time when things are starting to open up. Uh, you can start really thinking about the long range future but the energy still is going slow, but I think it's more about it needs more careful planning. So before I sign off, I'd like to remind you that I'm available for that one question offer at astrologyanswers.com's website. You can find a direct link in the description page under the YouTube video. Um, Always try to put in your time of birth and, and, and rewrite it in the message to make sure I have it accurate. You know, the, the, you know, your birthday, the year, the time, the place of birth. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, have a great week.